Hi, today we're going to talk about how to back up your iMovie file. Uh, this is important, again, because working in the MPS, our computers are not backed up and you may lose your files. But this is also helpful to back up your iMovie uh, files if you need to work on a different workstation. When you come back to the MPS, if somebody's working on your workstation, this process will let you safely move your project and all your files to a backup drive that you supply. You could sit down at another workstation and then move those files locally. So we'll go through that right now. As you can see right here, I've got something called My Backup Drive, and that is just basically a USB stick, something that looks like this. And depending on what you're doing, you could use a USB hard drive, you could use a Firewire hard drive. Uh, if you're only working on images and audio, something a 4 or 8 gig uh, USB stick uh, would work fine. So that's plugged into the back of my computer, and we see that here. So you see when I launch iMovie, I can see My Backup Drive is right here. So here on storage, which is an internal hard drive, I've created my awesome movie, which we can take a look at. They have these amazing kitty videos on YouTube, so I'm hoping mine will be just as good. So I've, done, I've worked on this for about 10 or 12 hours, so I want to make sure I save it. All that I need to do is now, inside of iMovie, grab my file and then move it to my backup drive and let go. I'm just going to ask me, do I want to copy just the project? or copy project and events. And that's very important to click copy project and events because that will move all your uh, video files and your audio files to that folder. Now, if you're not seeing your drive inside of iMovie, it could be that it's not formatted as a Macintosh HFS journaled hard drive and it needs to be formatted in that way. Most of your thumb drives will come out as MS-DOS formatted. So any of our MPS folks will be able to show you how to reformat your drive using disk utility, but please remember that will erase everything on your drive. So I've copied over and now I have my backup drive here. And just to kind of show you, we will go ahead and delete this. Move project to trash. And I'll quit out of iMovie. So now here's my drive and I'm gonna go ahead and eject the drive. Just to kind of prove that this works. And I will relaunch iMovie again. And we'll see that my file is no longer there. My project is gone. It's a different file. So now I will remount the drive. So there's my backup drive. So now if I've sat down at an NPS workstation and with my drive mounted, I will launch iMovie. and look at my backup drive, and there's my project. So theoretically, you could walk, work directly off of your external USB or FireWire drive. We don't generally recommend that because if something were to crash, you think of that as your backup. So then I will take it and move it over to Macintosh hard drive, and I want to copy the project in events, or so it's doing the inverse of what we did before. And there's my awesome movie, and let's make sure my kitties are all good. And they are, everything's there, the music is there. So now when I'm done working, I have an option. If I just take this and move it back to my backup drive, it will say, do I want to copy the project? And it will move it over there. But what it's going to do is it's going to automatically increment it and give it a number. So now we see My Awesome Movie 1 and My Awesome Movie. And it tells you the last date modified. Well, I made these both today. But this is a way that you can automatically have backups of your file, again, depending on how much size and how much video you've got on your external hard drive. But if you don't want to keep it, then you can always take this one, the original one, and move that one to the trash, and now you've only got your most recent one there. And it's very easy to rename these projects. You just click on it, and you can get rid of that one if you want to. So hopefully you'll all be backing up your files, and now you'll be able to move them around between NPS stations. Uh, the Duke Computer Store has a good selection of hard drives and uh, flash drives, so check those out. And any questions, ask your NPS consultant. Thanks.